yeah so for my family tonight um, um we're having the five second traffic light salad um which i prepared earlier and i'm going to prepare spaghetti with garlic and olive oil and tomatoes um and this we're going to have um for our dinner so i just thought i'm going to share this with my friends and family so please stay with me so back to the thermal mix so this is remember i told as i've always mentioned this comes with the rest recipe so recipe already made in there i'm just all i'm going to do is just follow what the recipe says so it says start cooking we got 40 grams of parmesan cheese yeah so I, we're going to put um 40 grams of parmesan cheese in so remember always to tear that and 40 grams of parmesan cheese um like i told you is this comes with integrated scale so all you need to do is throw in the pieces of what you got. okay we got 42 we we'll do with that that's fine and next um add 10 grams of fresh parsley which i've got here so i'm gonna cut about 10 grams of that let's see okay so that's just nine grams see i don't weigh anything i just put them in as you know as it was because of the skill so there you go um we insert that into the bowl so just as it tells you insert the measuring cup into the um mix uh, mixing bowl lid so there that's the bowl lid and that's the measuring cup and next and it tells you for 10 seconds turn this speed to eight so you turn the speed to eight so that's the speed setting you turn that to eight for 10 seconds you can hear that um that is done within 10 seconds let's see what we have here within 10 seconds so parmesan cheese with parsley and in the thermal mix for 10 seconds and you can see what you got there this is beautiful it's blended that beautiful for those of us who use parmesan cheese i'm sure you know how hard parmesan cheese is and you could see we got that out with the parsley for just 10 seconds you can see that nicely made. okay so let's follow our recipe next it tells you to transfer it into the bowl which i've just done and set aside and then it now tells you to put 50 grams of extra virgin oil which i have here so 50. i told you i'm always concentrating when i'm putting something into this case see that's why i concentrate a lot uh we go next so it tells you to put two garlic cloves so i've got two garlic cloves in there i just throw that in and you go to your next button just press next it tells you to insert the cup again into the measuring lead put it on and next button and it tells you for four minutes on speed one so that's speed one on 120 degrees and it's going to tell you what it's doing it's cooking it it's cooking it so this is going to be cooked for four minutes
So here we go, it sort of gives it a cooling period as well. So it's done. So we just look at what is done there. It's just all is done is just fried um, a little bit with the um, garlic, as you can see, it's fried it a bit. So, oh, I can smell the aroma. This is beautiful. So it just tells you to put 350 of cherry tomatoes. Now you can use what you want. You can skip this and you can put it depends on what you want. Um, right. So today I don't have for today I don't have cherry tomatoes, but I've got here cut tomatoes and I'm going to just put that in. So we tear that and we see how much we have here. So because I don't want much of the tomatoes, so I just put a few because I've cost you to actually go with this. So you can and then it says pinch of salt. Remember, Sarah doesn't like salt, not much salt. So I always like to put my maggi. So this is a chicken stock maggi that I use and I love it a lot. It's a jumbo one. And for those who know that, and I just put a little pinch in it. And we go next to the next button. It tells us to insert the measuring cup into the mixing bowl, back on, and then we leave this for another three minutes, 100 degrees on speed one. So it's going to be cooking the tomatoes with the garlic again, plus the um, olive oil that we put in and a little bit of um, maggie stock. So just stay, stay with me. Just waiting is cooking for so we had that on for two minutes and it's finished is done now so we just see it's nicely sort of fried a bit um, so we just go to the next button and it tells us to transfer this into a bowl so I'm just gonna transfer it into a bowl We're just going to transfer that into a bowl there as you can see it's all done with the garlic cloves inside there so we've got all this is all our prep and then it just tells us after transfers to discard the garlic yeah mix together well with spatula cover then set aside and keep warm so we've done that and then now it tells us to put so it just it tells us to put 1200 grams of water oh this is the bit i like you just going to see what this is going to do now i love this bit about a thermal cooking my spaghetti just gives me the right texture and so thousand two hundred you remember I tell you whenever I'm measuring with my thermomix I get so that serious because I don't want to make a mistake there you go <laughs> oh that's fine so 1200 water and it says next just you to put a pinch of salt again a pinch of my maggie guys you're gonna get used to me now <laughs> and then it tells you to insert the measuring cup and bowl um, and for 10 minutes 100 and it tells you to turn it to speed one going to boil the water so you can always keep this if you want to use hot boiling water if you want but if you're doing something you can always leave this it's going to be only 10 minutes and um, the water is going to boil but because i want you to see how the thermomix can boil water because we told you one of the functions remember one of the functions for the thermomix is actually to boil hot water so if we go to the home button again, I could show you that. It's just there. You can use it as a kettle. I'm just there. As you can see, 
and that's what basically we're using it at now 10 minutes on 100 degrees you know 100 degrees always brings things to boil and so that's what it is it's telling us to do now so 100 degrees on speed one and you can see that it's showing you it's boiling okay so few seconds for it to come to boil remember we're just bringing the water to boil as the recipe said we should do we're just following the recipe and that's what it said to do so once that is done we go next and that tells you to actually put 320 grams of dried spaghetti and you need to tear that and it tells you you're going to put it in the hole yeah so this is the bit that i i said we should wait for because this is the bit i love about cooking my spaghetti in the thermomix so we're going to add this through the hole so this time you can see we've taken the measuring cup out and the lid is there i'm going to add 320 grams of spaghetti so this way we just put it in Remember, our scale is there to weigh it. We don't need to weigh this. And it's all going to go in. So that's 288. I'm going for 320. And you can go a little bit more if you want to. You got that? Just a little bit more is fine. We're just going to go with that i'm going to go to the next button and this now it tells you on 100 degrees depending on this usually it, as it tells you you need to look at the packet of your spaghetti usually my spaghetti within 10 15 minutes is cooked so i'm just going to put it on um 15 minutes and we say um so you just put that on 15 minutes usually within 10 15 minutes once it's boiled it, it cooks so we can always see and if it's more we just so you can always adjust this like i, I have always mentioned you can adjust how much you want to cook um you want to what you want to do with your um thermomix so this is on 100 degrees as i said it's on 100 degrees and it's going to be on speed one and there we go so just look at that and that's the bit that i like disappearing in there now but don't forget the blade in there is not cutting it this is um, when, when, when we finish you see how it comes out it's still going to come out long spaghetti as normal so just look at it it's just going and going and going in and, and until you wouldn't see it um, until the water takes everything but one thing I like about it is that the blade doesn't cut the spaghetti it just you know um takes it in and boils the spaghetti so it tells you it's cooking as you can see it's cooking there on 100 degrees at speed one As you can see our 15 minutes is up now um, and um, just few seconds to go and it's all boiled down oh it's looking beautiful already and it always has this cooling down it's for eight seconds um, so it's all, it's all cooled down now and then it says next so next we're gonna put this in this in this simmery basket so we take this down wow can you see that let's let you see this there 
So I'm just going to put it in the simmering basket. Um, so as you can see, I've got it all out. Um, as we said earlier on, you can always take this out and that will just, see, that can just drop out and you can have all your spaghetti out. So again, this shows you, you can cook spaghetti without burning it. So you can cook spaghetti without burning it in a pot. And it all comes out. See, the blade didn't cut it. All he was doing was rolling it. Rolling it, stirring it. I didn't need to stand there. And it's all come out. And remember, you can always wash that. So, there we go. It's all in the simmering basket. There we go. And because I can still carry this with that, just put that in that way. And you can still carry that. And you can see the water is all gone out of that. Yeah. So, I'm just going to take this back into my serving bowl. And I'm going to pour, tip this into my dish, like the recipe tells you. Put this back, you can see how it's actually cooked, the spaghetti nicely. So, it's to ask us to put, drain the simmering basket, then transfer into a bowl with the sauce. So next, it's told us to put, if you look there, it says transfer into the bowl with the sauce. So that was the sauce we made earlier on. So I'm just going to put this in. I'm just going to put this in with the tomatoes. Remember the tomatoes and the garlic, although it did say we should um, get the garlic out, but I love my garlic. So I'm just going to leave it in there. I love to eat my garlic. So you can see. So there we go. And we just press next. And it tells us to sprinkle the reserved grated parmesan cheese with. So as you can see there, just going to put that there. Just put, sprinkle that on it. All on it. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. My household is going to actually enjoy eating this. Um, we got that, and the fresh basil. So, 10 grams of fresh basil just to put on top of that. I love basil. Don't know about you, but I do love basil. So I'm just going to put that in, into that, and just look at that, just look at that. I'm sure you will love this. So that's going to be the dinner. So you got the spaghetti with garlic, olive oil. join me thank you please comment below if you would like me to cook anything uh, you have anything in mind you wish you want me to cook and I'm gonna try and cook it with the time. subscribe to my channel and like comment and share Thanks. bye